Hey everybody, my name is Marcin Rakowski. I'm from National Marine Fisheries Research Institute in Gdynia. Uh, my scope of activity is uh, fishing harbors, local harbors development and uh, their in influence on uh, local economy. And of course, because I'm involved in fishery, so I'm really interested of the role of fishery in a new real economic reality in coastal area. Uh, I would like to uh, tell you how um, our marine special planning looked like in Poland. Uh, it used to be a part of coastal zone. Uh, authorities responsible for drawing MSP is marine, uh, maritime offices, coordinated by the Ministry of Infrastructure and, Reg and Development. Uh, marine special planning um, plans must be uh, agreed with coastal communities and of course communities if they want to build something on the shore they should agree um, each investment with uh, maritime offices. Uh, in Poland we don't have a uh, plan of, um, of marine space right now, it's under construction. Uh, right now we got only some pilot cases in the western part of uh, Gdańsk Bay and uh, our uh, lagoons. Uh, and the problem is uh, some shortcomings and incorrectness in our law. It was uh, our uh, regulation was uh, established uh, a bit something about half years ago, so it's still young and needs some improvements. Uh, how? What are the main users of space? Of course, fishery, not only fishermen, but as well uh, spawning and breeding areas uh, and uh, some fishing ground needed for uh, f f for fishermen. Uh, the second is uh, touristic activities. It used to be limited only to coastal to coastal area. I mean, sunbathing and uh, real recreation. Right now, m more and more popularity gains, uh, for example, diving, uh, re recreational fishery uh, from boats. Of course, transport corridors. They are not very important for local harbors because we got uh, Gdańsk, Gdynia, and Szczecin, which are our main harbors, and uh, all the corridors usually are away from from our uh, middle middle coast. <sighs> sand gravel and uh, sand and gravel extraction. Uh, we got some fields uh, and some extractor use only three ports, uh, Darbowo, Ustka and Kołobrzeg, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Gas and oil platforms, it's only three platforms in Poland and they are near Wodesławowo. Near uh, pipes and high voltage cable, if somebody is interested, I, will, I, I may talk more about it, but I don't think. And uh, protected and uh, protected areas and other closest areas. I mean environmental and of course military area. And on this we have to put new activities which are not exist in Poland right now, but they are closer and closer. I mean wind farms and probably shale gas and oil extractions. This is a special spread. We got some wind farms mm, areas mm, prepared in this uh, in the uh, Bornholm mm, deep on our around our uh, Swupsk, Swupsk bank and in southern part of the middle bank uh, this area near Wodesławo it used to be designed for uh, wind farms but right now i don't know why they they erase it probably it's very important for military areas mm. How many changes we have in ports for the past 20 years? Uh, increasing municipalization, uh, management uh, which used to be focused uh, in, uh, in uh, maritime offices, right now more and more uh, local communities uh, take, co take control over harbors. Uh, and in this way we got synergy of ports and regional, dev regional development. Uh, fast growing touristic sector. Yes, uh, a local Polish local harbors used to be called fishing harbors because fishery was the most important. Sometimes it was the only one activity in harbor. Of course, uh, right now, right now, uh, touristic sector is m growing. So we got more private boats. Uh, new marinas uh, have been built. Uh, recreational fisheries and diving. Uh, is, uh, is increasing. Is increasing. Uh, decreasing of area used, used by fishery. Like I said, fishery was very important in fishing harbors. Right now, they're focused on local fishing, local fishing first sales center. 
Uh, and uh, our fleet has been, it was a, is the limitation, the limitation of the fleet, and uh, they don't need such a, such a good place like it used to be. Development of transport of goods. It's only in three harbors, like I said, Ustka, Darbovo, and Kołobrzeg. Uh, modernization of port infrastructure. It was very important uh, because our harbors are really in bad condition. Infrastructure was um, in, uh, is, uh, was amortized. Uh, amortized. And right now, uh, thanks to fishery, fishery funds, uh, most of harbors are really good uh, modernized. And uh, most of uh, authorities in harbors, they try to prepare everything uh, to service the new activities. <sighs> we, should, we should know which services can, can and which must be placed in local, har local harbors. Of course, uh, we still don't know. We need, we need to prepare some research for that. Uh, we need to know what technical condition must, must meet the local harbors to attract investors. Uh, is it, does it exist enough space? That's the problem in, in most of Polish harbors. Uh, how will this investment impact on local economy? Uh, if the port is uh, communalized, uh, usually they have some simulation how it, how it may influence, but uh, it's still only few few harbors. And uh, is there adequate labor capacity in the community? Uh, not only amount of people, but as well if they are good developed, uh, good educated to, to the new activities. Uh, according to, to, the, to, to some regulation I found uh, in the Maritime Institute's uh, action, action Plan for Offshore Wind Energy, uh, we can divide uh, harbors on main it, in Poland will be Gdańsk, Gdynia and Sopon, that, that uh, they call big components harbors. Uh, they, are, they will be prepared for construction of new offshore, uh, offshore technologies and shipping. Fast service. I don't think that's, that's harbors which uh, should be uh, designed especially for uh, fast reaction. Supply and storage. Uh, that's uh, for spare parts and uh, some social social uh, s uh, a social area for for uh, maintenance and research. Probably it will be not uh, not designed in Poland. We got some research harbors in Germany. And they are they are leading this technology. So I don't think we are we will be able to prepare it in Poland. Uh, like I said, the most important is co Polish harbors are Kołobrzeg, Darłowo, and Ustka. Uh, Mrzeżyno is a uh, harbor which is uh, right now really fast developing, developing but uh, I think it will be still too small. Uh, Weba and Wodesłowo, they are really bad navigation condition. There are some winds which, gives, uh, which um, put some um, sand uh, to, on, the, on the entrance to the harbor, so they are not able to... Uh, to be prepared for, uh, for maintenance, this, uh, uh, this, like I said, Kołobrzeg, uh, Darwowo and Ustka, they are close to the wind farms area and they are good uh, navigation condition. Weba and Wodesławowo, unfortunately not, not enough depth on the entrance. Hell is, I think it's too, uh, too far away, but they, uh, it's uh, on the way on from, uh, from Gdańsk and Gdynia, so probably it will be, it may be, a port of uh, for, uh, as a supply harbor, and the same in Mrzeżyno. New activities in, um, how new activities impact on the local economy? Uh, CEO of Uska Harbor have seen only uh, only positives. They are prepared. They want they want the new activities to to install in in their harbor. Intensification of use, uh, development of complementary activities, diversification of uh, ports income, increased income to local budget, increased increased traffic in transport. That's what I what I think they are uh, advantages of of these new activities. Of course, increased traffic transport means uh, faster uh, faster use of infrastructure. So. We need, to, we need to know if the, if the modernization of infrastructure will be, board, will, will be worth to, give, to, to have these new activities. Uh, space limitation for other activities, especially for uh, low budget activities like fishery. And risk of structural unemployment. Like I said before, 
we need to know if we got enough labor, labor capacity. And what are the research needs? <coughs> we need to analyze uh, what is the potential development of port uh, by sector, how it will influence on fishery, touristic, shipments and offshore. Uh, development of standards for minimum infrastructure requirements. We need to know uh, what, what every branch needs and which harbor uh, is prepared uh, to, to, to fulfill this, uh, these standards. And uh, use of ports are local centers of economic development. I try, to, I try to figure out if the harbor may be a, lo a center of local, uh, local economy development uh, for, the whole, for the whole region. Uh, right now I think yes, because uh, all, this, all these cities has been built around the harbor, so it's natural that harbor is, should be a, a center of a local economy. And so what is the impact of a new method of use of maritime paint of uh, rare segment of coastal areas? Uh, which means uh, when we build something on the sea, we need to know if the coastal area is prepared for that. If we, if we build some wind farms, we, we should know if we got uh, infrastructure uh, on, on land. Thank you. Oof. It was 10 minutes? It was just perfect. Thank you. Right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You might get some <laughs> questions. You never know. Do we, do we have some questions? I may actually have a, a comment, uh, also a question to you, but this relates quite much to what Robert uh, uh, discussed earlier with, with the blue growth and, and, the, and the need of uh, thinking of the economic consequences of, of spatial planning, and, uh, and that uh, kind of leads to need of, of economic analysis. And, uh, and you, had, you said that you have studied the economic consequences of these um, uh, developments and, and what kind of on, on what uh, spatial scale did you an analyze it was it only the was it kind of coastal regions uh, or, or coastal towns only or what uh, I mean if you use the like the nuts level thinking that what, what was it very local or did you take a, a broader regional economy uh, into account. I become from fishery, so that was the main scope of my activity. But I tried to figure out how the local harbors may influence the local economy. So I was I was focused on uh, municipality and the harbor. I tried to figure out uh, what are the um, uh, percentage. Uh, percentage of use uh, of potential GDP of local GDP, and for example, fishery, it was from 0.004 <laughs> to even seven percent. But uh, when I when I put in, in uh, with fishery, when I join uh, processing sector, when I when we think about uh, harbor. We, we, we should we should know harbor as as itself uh, have no influence on economy it's only infrastructure uh, but uh, we need to we need to know which activities uh, are in in the harbor and what they give us what does, which how much money and uh, what does the impact of uh, of the, these activities on local economy and that's how I'd like to, I, I try to find out. It's really hard because uh, in Poland everything should be a secret or because we are uh, still developing, we, we are afraid somebody steal our ideas and so on, so it's really hard. Thank you very much for a very good presentation. And you have been touching two elements of the sustainability, new sustainability equation. It means that uh, 
labor and, uh, and uh, creating the value. But you, uh, would you say something about the third or the first element of this equation, environmental part of that? It means that uh, all the three taken together uh, have a, a real meaning for the planning That's for in the future. Thank you. I need to comment that uh, in your presentation you said uh, that fishermen used to be a first environmentalist. They are the first, the first uh, in the protection, the, the protection some fishery, protection fishery. In Poland, uh, we may agree when we talk about. I'm sorry. One moment. Mm -hmm. When we talk about this part, that's traditional fishery. It used to be uh, Poland for uh, for many years. Yes, this part and this. It used to be uh, Germany <laughs> before the war, and then some people, some outsiders, come here. They start using the what the fish. They are treat the fishery as a way of uh, earn money. For them, that's tradition. For them, it's job. They are. They may agree, I may agree. They are really concerned about the uh, fishery and uh, leaving the resources and so on. They are focused how much we can we, we can earn right now from from this separate from this separate catch. More questions? But perhaps one because you were also talking about. Um, uh, Possibility of attracting um, uh, services to to wind farms and things like that, but I was wondering how much control are you in control of that? I think probably uh, companies will make their own decisions, and all you can really do is give them enough uh, options so they say, well, we can invest here, we can invest there, and they will just have to decide for themselves then. And then they will need, uh, obviously, they will need good data on, on, on what facilities uh, they are offered. Like I said, we still don't have our national plan, uh, but some area are already designed. Uh, before each investition, they need to they need to prepare some research. Uh, from deep research, w what is in the, what is the mm, on the place, what is the condition, and so on. Uh, it caused some problems. Yes, we got only right now one consortium which is really mm, prepared for that. The rest, some some people, some consortium resign. They 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 try they they skip our this investition. I know it's a problem. That's why we try to prepare at first plan. We will see. More questions? Very good, Non, because this gives me the opportunity to, to ask you a question. Um, could you say something about the, the time frame for offshore wind farm development in Poland? Would you expect it to be happening within the next 10 years or, or 20 years or whatever, just roughly, because this, of course, will have an influence and also on the economy in the ports and uh, the revenue that you get over time for the costs that you will need to spend to um, bring the infrastructure in a good status. Uh, our law is still not not prepared for that, I think. we got only, Like I said, we got one consortium which uh, which try to gain all the permises, but I, I'm sorry, I cannot say what time it may take. Maybe ten years? No, I'd, if we will be lucky, maybe only three years. Who knows? Maybe at first we will build some nuclear power. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Martian.